Hello, everyone, and welcome to another week of our Gospel Reflections. Today, we're into the celebrating of the 23rd week of Ordinary Time. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And today, we continue to read from the Gospel of Luke, and today is chapter 6, verses 6 to 11. On the Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach. And a man was there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees were watching him to see if he would cure a man on the Sabbath, hoping to find something to use against him. But he knew their thoughts. And he said to the man with the withered hand, Stand up, come out into the middle. And he came out and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I put it to you. Is it against the law on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil? To save life or destroy it? Then he looked around at them and said to the man, stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was better. But they were furious and began to discuss the best way of dealing with Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. This is the second story about the Sabbath that I referred to on Saturday. This story concerns healing on the Sabbath. It is a recognized principle of the application of the Sabbath law that to save an endangered life, almost any law can be broken. So the question naturally is, is a withered hand life-threatening? But Jesus here goes beyond the processes of the law and he heals out of sheer love for the sufferer. The healing that Jesus brings to the world is more important than any ritual law. And it's this act of love that leaves his opponents confused and hostile. They are so bound up by the letter of the law that to break it out of love is completely and utterly beyond their comprehension. Jesus today heals out of sheer love for the sufferer. For our reflection today, I pray that we too may experience this sheer love of Jesus in our lives now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining me this morning. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Until then, take care and God bless.